Federico Balzaretti has never been a man to take the well-trodden path. In 2005, when Torino went bankrupt after winning promotion to Serie A, the talented defender left the club he joined as a six-year-old and did the unthinkable. He signed for city rivals Juventus. It was a really bad move in the eyes of the Torino fans, which is understandable. That was a tough time for me. I had plenty of offers to go and play somewhere else, but I did the hardest thing, and that was staying in the same city, moving up a level and joining the strongest team, where I had the least chance of playing time, given the squad they had. That, in my eyes, was the biggest challenge I could take on. That Juve side was extraordinary, with some outstanding players. Ballon d'Or winner Pavel Nedved, Ibrahimovic, Emerson. It was full of stars. It was really important for someone like me, experiencing Serie A for the first time, to manage to play 28 or so games for that team and be in the starting lineup at the business end of the season. The number 42 made a name for himself as a determined left back at Palermo and reached the pinnacle of his game at Roma. In a fitting twist, the man who'd crossed one city in his career earned hero status in a derby match. Totti to the byline, chip across the face of the goal, Balzaretti! With this goal, the Piedmontese hipster became an adopted son of the eternal city. More than the goal, the celebration was a way to tie myself to Roma. And enjoys celebrating in front of the Curva Sud. Quel pianto, quella, quella corsa sotto. Those tears, that run to the terraces, the teammates. It became a moment of bonding with the city, the club and the fans. There was a deep connection amongst everybody associated with the Giallo Rossi. And I was the symbol of it because I scored, but it could have been anyone else. We never managed to win the league title because even though we finished the season with 85 points, Juventus got 100. When injuries put a premature end to his career, Balzaretti entered Roma's scouting staff. Before leaving the club last summer, he had the chance to consider the merits of the Giallorossi's current coach, Paolo Fonseca. He's a foreign coach who fits perfectly well with the current notion in Serie A to produce positive football, to build from the back, to entertain with quality players and not to go out for a measly nil-nil and hope to hit the opposition on the counter. That's what Fonseca is all about. After the home defeat by Torino, Roma welcomed Turin's other club, Juventus, to the Stadio Olimpico. The rivalry is fierce, but Balzaretti, as an insider, sees the match as a strategic battle between the Portuguese and Maurizio Sarri. Sarri is prendendo molto della Juventus. Sarri is buying into Juve's way of doing things. They're a clinical, pragmatic team, capable of absorbing a lot of pressure and yet still coming away with a win. He's kept this way of doing things and slowly but surely he's introducing his own way of thinking and playing. Stay compact, dominate possession and pass and move. Juventus always find a way to get over the line. Fonseca has a team that is formidable going forward, but at times, defensively, they leave something to be desired, and he needs to fix that. They're still not solid and hard-nosed enough. It's all part of the process, though, and he will manage to find the right balance, but either way, Roma are a team with a clear identity. The champions will test that clear identity, but you get a sense this Piedmontese still identifies with Roma. 